Welcome back, everybody. Today we're going to be continuing the campaign as Hannibal, and we're going to be taking the war the fight to William. Uh, let's take a look at our army here. Are we ready to go? I don't know. Let's see. We only got three catapults. We've got another on the way in four turns. Maybe I wait. We've got another two war elephants. I I think I don't wait. I'm going to go to war right now. Let's go ahead and declare war. Let's discuss something else. We're going to do it. Let's go. All right. Bring my three catapults. We'll leave one spearman behind in case he tries to do some funny business. And a couple axemen. We'll leave them behind. And we'll head out to Amsterdam. I want to cut through here and so I don't have to cross the river. Uh, nope, I'm going straight in. And got to watch out for this guy. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this axeman. Nope. I'm going to take this Midian cavalry and go and protect this worker over here as he's working on the die. And do we have anybody down here? We do have a galley. I need to protect my ships. Let's go ahead and get a galley down here. That's unfortunate. I didn't think about that. I've got a bunch of uh, water tiles here that are in danger. But that's okay. Uh, we can rebuild another workboat. It'll hurt our capital for a few turns, but I think we'll be okay. All right. Uh, do I want to... Do I want to... Um, upgrade a couple guys in case they attack. Let's go. And I'm getting that in turn. We didn't get attacked. We'll get another catapult going. We'll go with... Uh, do we have stables here? We do. Ooh, I want the mausoleum. But we don't have marble. Uh, let's get another Axeman. We got that bonus to shock, which was really amazing event to happen. Okay, here we go. He's just got a bunch of swordsmen. Um, they're okay in city defense, you know. But uh, with our shock Axeman, I think we should be able to handle them pretty easily. You're just going to rest here, and we're going to go ahead and hook up this. Is it faster if I remove the jungle first? I don't care. I'm just going to do that. And you're going to go over there and help because we want that sugar. I mean, dice. We got to. Oh, we hooked up the sugar. So let's take a look at our capital. We can actually grow our capital a little bit uh, because we just got that um, extra sugar. And elephants don't get a movement bonus. They're the only mounted unit that doesn't, but that's understandable. I mean, they're elephants, they're not known for speed. It's like, you could have elephant racing. That might be kind of funny. I think elephants are kind of fast, actually. I need to clean up these guys eventually, but uh, look, I want to go straight for their capital. We, we're pretty well defended with our axemen and our archer there. So, um, let's go ahead and get a guy here. In case he tries some sneaky business here. Um, he does have iron. He could build... Spearman. Can you build Spearman with iron or is that copper? I think you can do it with iron. But I don't see any Spearman, so I think we'll be okay. And I think our elephants are going to make short work of this capital. Let's go ahead and... Uh, well, it's going to take some time to do that. What's our odds with our Numidian Calvary? What's our odds with our elephants? Just 8%. Let's take a bunch of guys. We'll leave one, two guys to protect the catapults. And we'll move these guys out. It'll take a couple turns of bombards. We're going to get the die. And what do I want this guy to do? Let's go ahead and chop this down. And maybe work on a wonder. I think we're okay because he can't come through here and attack me. Um, and I'm not too worried about him doing anything silly here. So, 
We've got th three cities up north, one city in the south, and he's even got a city on the island there. So, let's keep going. Oh, we're losing our scout. Because he was scouting with, uh, was that Barbarian? It was Barb. So oh, interesting. What a coincidence. I thought that might be his scout. Like he was scouting with, okay, they did destroy my fishing boat. Okay, we're down to 34%. Go ahead and send this guy across. What are our odds now with our elephants? 24%. Uh, not good. This, um... The swordsmen are pretty good at, uh, what about our shock guys? Oh, they're going up against the archers. Well, we'll continue to take down their, uh, barricades. And we'll eventually get them. Uh, yeah, we're safe here. You can't cross through the forest and attack me with any kind of mounted unit, so that's fine. Uh, this pigs might be a little vulnerable. How are we doing on our galleys? Ugh, he's uh, getting our food supplies in our capital. Well, we'll get a galley, and hopefully they can defeat this guy. He's, he doesn't have a promotion. So we might be okay. All right, we got a galley. Let's build another. Let's see. Build the pyramids. No, I'm not going to do the pyramids. Um... Let's do something. Axemen, I guess. Keep pumping out those shock guys. They're pretty good. Uh, just get them closer to the front. You'll go here. Let's get a work boat. Our people are still growing. Oh, no, we're stagnant. We're stagnant, but that's okay. Oh, Barb Galley, please take out my foe here. Huh. All right, let's uh, do this first. Okay, down to 20%, and we're up to 29% odds. It's going to take a while, and I might want to cross the river with a couple of my catapults, so just so I can hit them with a catapult attack and do some collateral damage. I'll lose less guys that way. Okay, he's attacking my archers with... Uh, Swordsman, and he won. Archers are supposed to get a benefit to that. Let's get an axeman here. And I'll hit his swordsman over here with my axeman. Take him out, no problem. I got shock. My shock, shock troopers. And I'll go ahead and promote him. Just leave him here. We'll actually move an archer there too. If he tries any funny business with his axeman, we'll have this guy with the hills defense. And we'll hit him. Down to 6%. This guy's going to cross the river. We'll do a collateral damage attack. We'll move one of our axemen over. I don't. Well, we'll leave him. We'll leave him because I don't want him to attack me. All right. Yeah, just a couple of turns. Just be patient. I don't want to lose many guys here, so. They are hard to come by, so I don't want to lose them. Okay, we're getting attacked by the barbs. They didn't come after me. I mean, they came after me and not my and them that take my the enemy. That That's unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Currency? Yeah, there's a lot of people to trade with. There's a lot of people to trade with on this map, so uh, I think my military is doing pretty good. Um, let's go and uh, cottage up right here and get you to the front lines. Darius just made peace with Montezuma. Okay, more guys doing die. All right, we'll hit them with. I think it's only going to take two. Yep, got him down to 0%. Alright, let's see. Oh, he finally got some spearmen. So, can we take the spearmen out with our Numidian cavalry? Okay, we've got a 29% uh, 
They're 20.9 plus a 23.7 percent retreat odds. Let's see if I do this one, I'll get even more. So this gives me a 10 percent strength bonus. But if I want to increase my chances of survival, I'll go with this one, and then we'll also get him uh, that promotion. So we should have a 50 percent chances of surviving against this spearman. What's our catapults odds, by the way? 14 percent. So. I mean, we could do that. 31%. Okay. So this guy is going to um, attack. We're going to take out his spearman. How many spearmen does he have? He has two, but only one with a promotion. So let's go ahead and try it. Midian Cavalry. Nice. Good job. He doesn't have another spearman, so he's going to hit our elephants. All right. How about our shock guys? Okay, we're the best odds here with our shock. And we're still less than 50%. And they neither of them have a city raider, unfortunately. I gave them the strength instead of city. And we're at 59%. How many of these archers does he have? He only has one archer. So if I take out that archer... And this elephant is 37. What if I promote him? And I give him shock. We're up to 75. I wonder why that switched out when I upgraded him to shock. Well, I think this is our best odds. We'll go for it. Nice. 32%. And here we go. All right, 67 shock, 78. All right, good. Elephants are doing good. Our Numidian Cavalry did good. And 71, we'll go with shock. It's going to take out these archers. Once I take out the archers, I should be able to hit them with my catapults. Nice. Okay. Now a catapult. Still 36%. Well, we take him out with a shock axeman. Uh, let's just do two attacks. I guess I'm not going to do much with my catapults. Okay. One of those two. Um, we'll hit him with this guy. Give him the city raider. We get the penalty from crossing the river, but it doesn't matter. These are still our best odds. Nice. 24%. How about you? The last guy, 60. 73%. Let's do it. We could do this without taking any casualties. Oh, uh, I spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. And uh, that's it. I got no one else that can attack, so I'll have to wait a turn. That's fine. At most, he'll get one more guy. Uh, let's uh, cross the river with these two catapults. So if we need to do some collateral damage. Uh, can I promote him? No, I can't because I already promoted him. This unit, at least we're in the forest here, so they get the protective bonus. And this swordsman's already hurt. He might have some reinforcements coming from somewhere, but I think we're okay. All right, catapult. You continue, we'll make short work of The Hague and Old Trick. All right, he did get reinforcement, another catapult, but we'll make short work of him with our elephants, I think. Yep. Nice. And then Numidian Cavalry, 73. I've got another elephant, He'll get promoted. 96.9. And we did it. We took over the city. Good. Let's get a monument going. We got this guy to worry about. My axemen are all pretty wounded. But can I promote them? Let's go ahead and get strength two. And that will give us the odds. Could lose this action, but we've got more. Nope. Looks like we're going to win. 
Got him. And I'll send him a friend just to protect him. We got a great general. Send these guys up. Send my catapults up. My Numidian cavalry. He's a pretty, pretty good cavalry unit right there. And I don't know if he's going to be able to send guys out at me. I need to heal up a little bit. Do I have anybody that can get a medic promotion? I could have done that uh, cavalry guy. This guy can become a medic. Um, in here, any of these guys can be a medic. Yeah, this guy can be a medic. Not him, but him next turn. Okay, we'll do that. We'll just rest up. And unfortunately, I don't want to move my catapults by themselves. And we'll promote you and rest up. All right. So what do we do with our great general? I think we send him to our capital. Man, unfortunately, we lost that galley. We can't. We got this stupid barbed galley. Why didn't he go after them? Well, he'll leave soon. So I'm not going to worry about building another galley because he's already destroyed all my food sources over here. So he'll just leave on his own, I hope. All right. We need another axeman on our way. Uh, you'll just sleep. Wait until this barbed galley leaves. He can be someone else's problem. All right, we'll go to next turn. Oh, good thing I gave him a friend. Why would you send a swordsman against a shock axeman? Well, there's an axeman versus an axeman. Uh-oh. I hope that wasn't my guy. I hope that wasn't my uh, medic. Um, another axeman. Uh... Actually, I want to do a Numidian Cavalry. That guy could be my medic. Because I, I have the stables. So they get... This guy could be a medic. But I don't want to waste a medic promotion on an elephant. They, they're supposed to be my brute force guys. Okay, are you my medic? You're not my medic. Unfortunate. I killed the guy I was going to promote to medic. But... I can take my catapults out with a uh, uh, defense. And I gotta have to. I'm gonna wait one turn. Get a axeman that's full health before I take him out. Uh, build the road, dude. And yeah, keep on marching. Yeah, let's get this guy the promotion. Hopefully, we'll be able to start healing up these guys a little bit faster and hit the Hague and then come back down to Old Trick. I do need libraries. Let's go with... Uh, um, let's go ahead and do the library. Okay, you got another swordsman. Um, let's do another axeman. Or archer. We need archers. Okay, go ahead. Bring it on. You, you march here. You march here. <laughs> no matter where you go, you're going to either stay in the jungle or you march here and I'll kill you when you get on flat land. Sounds like a plan? Sounds like a plan. Okay, we need to mine up this hill. And just stay here for now. And now we got... A healed axeman, and we can take our catapults and move them up against the Hague here. Um, yeah, go ahead. Oh, who needs healing? Oh, that axeman still needs healing. Well, I got enough guys. I think he's healthy enough. And I want one elephant that's relatively healthy to stay here. No, I got my axeman. I got my axeman medic. 
there can protect the city. Um, and I got some health on those war elephants. Maybe keep one of those in the city. Okay, you can move out. And same with you. He could come get me, but he doesn't have roads here, so it'll take him a while to reach me. Yeah, let's see what he does over here. He doesn't have walls here. I could take him out with a, with my Numidian Cavalry. Oh, he does have a Spearman. But I've got three Axemen here. I could potentially just take him out with my Axemen. Three Axemen versus an Axemen, Spearman, and an Archer. And we got our Shock guys. We'll see. Good choice. Attack my shock axeman on a hill. Sometimes the AI is not very... is lacking the eye. Um, do I want to try to take these guys out? No. How about with you? 29%? No. We'll just wait for our army to come and get them. Take out the Hague. Stick with the plan. And um, you're going to defend and wait for the elephants. You'll go with the elephants. I'm going to chop that down. And what do I need to build over here? What do I got over here? Uh, should I go ahead? Is that barbed galley gone? Is he finally gone? Can I get this back? Let's do it. And do I want to farm or do I want a house? I can't really look at this sitting right now. What does it got? Uh, can I click on it? Yeah, there we go. It's size 7. It's growing in 3 turns. It's getting plus 4 food. I think I'll go with the city. Because I'll reach the population limit. And how am I doing on these two cities? Okay, we can go up to 11. Go up to 11 or 10. So I can grow one. I can grow five. Uh, yeah, so we're good. We're good. All right. Uh, trireme, sure. Trireme to protect our grain. I mean, our, our fish, our clams. And crabs. Uh, let's get some more production and value out of this one, this place, and send them to the front. And what are our odds with this guy? Twenty-eight percent. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stick to the plan. Stick to the plan and wait for these two cities to fall, and take that one last. I wonder if I could V-line um, feudalism so I can vassalize him. All right. I'll have to wait till next turn. Let's move these three guys out so we can hit them even harder. And just you go there. And you head out. Um, not much city defense. I may take this next turn. Everything is worth what its purchaser will Let's pay. Let's see what I can get on feudalism. All right. Now, I probably should have been doing this earlier, looking for trades. Uh, let's try to get these two for one. Um, you know what? Let's to make a demand. Let's get meditation. Yep, it worked. He doesn't like us, but we're way more powerful than him. So, good. Meditation and then Montezuma Lack of doesn't want to trade. Darius no well what leads you forward will trade, but he, we got nothing he wants. I uh, wonder what his military streak is. If he'll accept a demand... I don't know. I don't want to risk it. I've already made Peter over here mad. 
All right, we've got an archer here. Let's move him out. And over here, I'm guessing I can take out their defenses this turn. They don't have walls. Um, I did, down to 0%. And what are our odds with the catapults? We'll do it. We lost the catapult. It's fine. And we should just be able to march right in here. Nice. Gonna keep it. We got a worker or two. It's good. And I think I can just take this guy. Yep. Lost an elephant. I should survive the fight. Yep. And we got our medic over here. It's just one turn. We'll head over here to heal up over here. And, uh, yeah, we'll be good to go in, like, a couple of turns and hit this place. And this place, and then we'll peace out with them. Uh, just rest up here. Rest up here. Yeah, you too. Just rest. Wait for our catapults. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord oh, make you interesting. Upon you and be gracious to you. Uh, medicinal tea cultivated by locals has been found to be effective with treating illnesses. This tea grows only in this specific area near the Hague. So we get plus one gold. Oh, right here. Plus one gold. Or we should we do plus one gold and get plus three health and one scientist, but it's only a 67% chance. But I'm going to go for it. 111 gold. I don't know if I got it, though. It never tells you if you got it. You have to look at the city. So we got the plus one gold, but how about the Hague? Did they get the uh, plus five from bonuses? I think that might be it. So I think we did get the health bonus. Nice. All right, we'll go to Amsterdam and heal up. And go over here, chop that. Go back to Amsterdam and heal up. The catapults will take another turn to get here. Um, do I want to send this guy up here? So I can get my axeman back. Let's get this guy first. This worker. What are you going to do? You could build stuff. You could chop some trees and get that uh, Amsterdam up. That monument in Amsterdam faster. That would be good. All right. This battle's going pretty good. I don't know if I'm going to go after Peter right away or maybe wait a few turns, but um, hopefully I can get Monarchy soon. I'm going to go down to 0% and just build up some gold, and then I'll pump it back up to 100%. Oh, a naval invasion. I did not expect that, but it didn't work. Uh, I don't want to give you the gold. Do I need polytheism? Polytheism? Uh, not right now, and I don't want to give up the gold. Uh, I don't think that's necessary for monarchy or for feudalism. So, Wow, that was surprising that he decided to do a naval invasion. Um, but it didn't work. I have my shock troopers. So that didn't work. That's good. All right, what do I want to do here? Um, just, yeah, chop some trees, get that library going. Same with you. Gonna rest up. I'll leave that one catapult. The rest are fine, and this elephant, and we'll take. You guys. And not our heat medic. The other guys. And head out to the 
your last city. No, the last this other city. Yeah. Go ahead and get him accuracy. It's good to have some guys with the bombard ability. Could be helpful in the war against Peter if I do decide to do that next. All right. Get a granary, sure. Uh, we can get up to size 12. That'll help us get there faster. And then... Can I... Take him out next turn, probably. Nice, he can get there in one turn. Uh, you'll head on over here. And same with you. I'll just defend him in case he tries another naval invasion. Which was shocking that he would do that. It's pretty cool that he does that. You, know? you don't expect that in the galleys or as a defensive measure even. All right. We've got just three guys here. Should be pretty easy to take out. He'll probably... Sacrifice a pop to get another guy. Nope, he didn't. All right, we'll bombard. Get him down to zero. Let's see, what are our odds? 87%? Let's, uh... Let's see, 87%. Let's get these guys promoted. Oh, I lost one. That's too bad. Um, we'll go with this guy. You know, I was just while I'm just thinking about it, I want to take one off of him. I don't need to be spying on him anymore. All right. Let's go with that. The rest of the guys here. And what do you think you're doing on that hill? You're going to destroy my mine. Um, what would happen if I moved guys here and threatened your city? Are you going to try to move them back to defend it? What are odds? Pretty good, actually. And if I go shock, it'll be even better. 89%. Let's get him. Nice. And you. 63. 68. Ah, lost. Let's go Archer versus Archer, 99.9%. Okay, I need to go up here, do 100% on Monarchy, get it in three turns. That, that'll work out. Okay, you go here. Um, do I have any guys that would be good defenders? You. Just defend. He's got something over here, but I'm not worried about him. Hopefully, I, it won't take me too long to get feudalism. All right, let's go check him out with my trireme. And I got to watch my population size, make sure it doesn't grow too fast. But when I get Marnaki, I can stack people in my cities and get them even bigger. It's 400 AD, and I don't have any civics. That's kind of late for that. But I don't think I'm too far behind in tech. He's got monarchy and polytheism. And how about Montezuma? He's just got polytheism. Peter? Yeah. We'll trade. I don't want to give you ivory. Nope. Uh, is he thinking of attacking me? That would be a dumb decision, I think. Because I've got a big army not too far from his border. Why are you not moving? 
And you need a heal, you need a heal. Okay. Alright, we're going with Forge over here. Forge over here. Alright, get this army moving. Get on the road, army. And you can go heal up in this city. Two turns. Oh, yeah, go ahead and build that mine. All right, we'll hit them soon. Just, we'll take just a couple of catapults to get them down to zero. So I'll just I'll wait for them to come. Yeah, and uh, you go here. Don't need to protect those horses anymore. And that's a really powerful horseman. All right, you go up here with our medic and rest. You guys get a move on. Might not be necessary in this war, but you'll be necessary with Peter. All right, looks like I got a great scientist. And yeah, this accuracy guy is gonna be really nice. All right. And this guy is a really powerful horseman. He's got a 50% chance of surviving against this spearman. Over 50. And if I give him shock, we've got like a 67 or 68% chance. Withdraw, withdraw. Oh, I lost my... I lost my good Numidian Cavalry. I wish he would have had the six strength instead of five. He would, that would have made all the difference. Let's just go with my Axeman. 70%. Oh, no! Getting some really bad luck. And I gave my enemy a great general. I've got a catapult to defend with. Let's see, 5% chance against the catapult. Not good odds. And this guy can attack. 90% chance. Let's improve it. Do I want to do the catapult? No. Okay, 97% chance. I can't believe I lost two guys with 80% chance. That's just awful. What are the odds that you lose two 80% chances in a row? 10%, I guess. What about you? 99%. I will take this. Cause I got another axe. And there we go. We got him. Except he does have one city over here. But we'll wait for feudalism. Let's see if he'll give us any techs. Will you give us this? Yes, he will. We'll take it. We'll take it. I, I would have liked to vassalize him. To bring about the but rule of righteousness he's got in the nothing. Land, he's so got just a little island. Not, harm the weak. not at all similar and, to the race uh, of the immortal gods. And getting two free techs is just really good. Let's go ahead and build a road for now. Okay. Great scientist. What can you give me? Philosophy. I could do that and then slingshot that into nationalism. Or I could put down an academy in Utica or Carthage. Hmm. You know, I'm going to go with an academy because I'm going to build the Moai statues here. And we got tons of food. And this is going to be a really great place for research. Um, I need to get another um, work boat. So we'll get monarchy in one turn. And let's get this guy just protecting my boat, my fit, uh, my food. Oh, you're building the road to my area. Is that because you're planning on attacking? What, what in the world are you doing? Like, it's just a woods tile. It's not connecting to a city at all. What is Peter thinking? Uh, I need to send a scout out into Peter's territory and just check out what he's got. I'm thinking about going to war with him. 
Let's see. He doesn't have any text that we don't. A multitude and then I can vassalize him. Let there be one okay. Ruler, one king. I said I was going to do it. Let's do it. But do I want another work boat first and work that? No, let's do the Moai statues here. We'll do the work boat right here. And this is going to be really powerful capital. So we get that Moai statues. All right. Let's just get everybody here. And prepare for the attack. And you're just going to go... Take a look at what he's got. He's got just four units here. He's got a bunch of units here. But let's check out his capital. And you're just going to defend. I want to build a road out here to just quickly move troops over here. Because we're going to attack, I think, pretty soon. Yeah, we're going to attack. As soon as I get all my guys in place, I'm going to attack. Go ahead and build a road. This time I will have feudalism. I'm going down to 100%, 0% for now. But he's only got a couple of cities. Look at that. Look at that. He's just got axemen and swordsmen. And we got our shock troopers. I'm going to go take a look at that hill. Take a look at that hill. It will be a few turns before I attack. How's this doing? We're growing. Oh, I still had stifled growth on. Man, I hate that. I wish this was stifled growth. I said that last episode. Stifled growth until... But only when you reach the max. <laughs> happiness, you know. No point in stifling growth if you're not at max happiness, right? Ooh, I can start building workshops. Uh, now we'll get that production bonus from all our water tiles. So we can do it right here. And... Um, I want this guy to do just city up. Alright, build a road for no reason. I think I got too many workers. Oh yeah, I wanted to go. I think um I think Amsterdam needs some improvement. Maybe some cities. So we'll go head on out to Amsterdam, build some cities out there. Yeah, you go here, join the attack force. You join the attack force. And so do you. Yeah, we're just going to do some more scouting of your lands. Don't mind us, we're just scouting out your territory so we know where to attack. Maybe one more turn, and then I go for it. But first, I'm going to put in a cut here. Thanks for watching. Bye.